Hey boys, what's poppin? Amber here. And today we have a Fortnite FPS guide for 2024. That's right, every year I make this guide for Fortnite because it does really, really well and helps you guys out with the game performance and ping and just overall smoothness of the game in general. There'll be a few steps and let's get on to the step one. And step one is a pretty big one, especially if you want your games to go super smooth no matter what kind of PC you have, whether that be old or new. How is that even possible, you might ask? Well, we'll have to thank our sponsor, Gear Up, for that. Before Gear Up, this this is pretty much the ping I had mostly every day, which was extremely frustrating. <sighs> this happens like all the time. This is why I don't play Fortnite. The building's so delayed. I cannot build. And as you can imagine, the games didn't go so well. But thankfully, watching other pros like Asian Jeff and Mero use Gear Up Booster, I decided to give it a try and it works. All I had to do was download Gear Up from their website that you can find in the description of this video, install it, find the game I wanted to reduce my ping on, which in our case is Fortnite and a boost. These are the results. Once again, Gear Up uses fast rerouting technology to reduce your ping as it did for me. If you want to find out more about how it works, you can easily do that on their website. As I said, the link will be down in the description box below. I'm definitely super happy with it as it allows me to actually play the game normally and that's good enough for me. Now let's go ahead and get on to the next step. Alright, now what we're going to do is optimize the Fortnite resolution to go lower than the preset ones in the game, which in return will help us get a lot more FPS. This is a big one, guys, so don't miss out on this. Alright, so here we are on my desktop. First things first, what we're going to do is head onto the Fortnite and I'll show you guys how my Fortnite looks like right now. Okay, so this is the menu. This is in the creative hub. And this is the idea of how my world would look like. Obviously, I don't want to load into a normal game. So this is all you guys are getting right now. Next up, these are all the resolutions we can use. So pretty much everything here is HD. What we want to do is lower this to less than HD so we get more performance out of it. All we have to do is go back to the desktop. And what we want to do is click here in the search bar and write in percentage, update, percentage, press enter backtrack one step you'll see update over here we want to click there click on local scroll down until you see fortnite so not epic games but fortnite fortnite game that's it actually so fortnite game save i'm gonna click on config windows client and game user settings dot ini now you probably won't have dot ini but that's okay you're probably just going to have game user settings so just click there the notepad will open however if it doesn't just make sure to right click it click on properties click on change here and make sure to select notepad press ok ok and then double click it we want to scroll down until we see this so this is going to be about at the middle resolution size x resolution size y last user confirmed resolution size x and last user confirmed resolution size y so what we want to do is change this to our desire resolution now i'd suggest you guys to use 1024 by 768 or if your pc is really really bad 800 x 600 i'm gonna go ahead and use 1024 by 768 so what i want to do is in resolution size x type in 1024 resolution size y delete 1080 and write in 768 and i'm going to do the same here so i'm just gonna copy and paste it so these two look identical now what i want to do is click on file and then save and uh, i can close this now we can head back into the game and i'll show you guys how it looks like here we are once again in the main menu we're gonna load up creative this is the creative hub as you guys can see this is a stretch res this is actual actual stretch res you can get it again sadly 1024 by 768 is stretched but if your pc is kind of bad and you don't want to use the stretch res 800 x 600 is there as well and you can use that i'll put it on the right side of the screen again let's go ahead and load up into the island and here we are once again at the same place as you guys can notice i'm getting a lot more fps and mine is capped to 240 and i'm like 
cat literally this definitely works and it is one of the most important steps if you want to increase your fps and if you have a bad pc so there you guys have it that was the custom resolution bit keep in mind that the game will say that you are on 1080 even though you're not make sure to just not touch that and you'll be fine it is because the game cannot recognize this res because it is unsupported by fortnite officially but just make sure not to change the res in the game and you'll be fine otherwise if your resolution resets you'll have to go back and do this step once again so now that we've done that all we have to do is tweak out our in-game settings so we're gonna click on our little icon over there at the top right click on settings and settings again make sure to not touch the resolution if you have gotten the custom resolution that i've suggested you get which is a must-have next up rendering mode we want to make sure that's on performance very important once again huge fps boost from this frame rate limit make sure to cap it above your monitor's limit so mine is 144 hertz and i capped it at uh, 240 although that's necessary just for fps testing i should have had it at 160 that would be the best case scenario for the input lag so if you have a 60 hertz monitor make sure it's 120 if you have 144 hertz monitor make sure it's 160 and etc after have you see vsync make sure that's off as well scroll down until we see monitor blur and turn that off as well quality presets do not touch that that will change the custom as we customize our presets here now anti-aliasing and super resolution of course off temporal super resolution we won't be able to change this since we have anti-aliasing and super resolution off so this doesn't matter it's not going to work 3d resolution make sure it's 100 at first and then if you still have low fps although you really shouldn't make sure to lower this down gradually for the beginning we'll start with 80 and that should give us enough of an fps boost that we need dynamic 3d resolution off virtualized geometry off shadows off i don't know if they're on high by uh, default but just make sure they're off global illumination we're gonna turn that off as well reflections off view distance i put it on far because it is a competitive setting you can put it on far but the more you lower it the more fps you'll have obviously so either medium or far i wouldn't recommend going on near because uh, yeah we need to get that view distance for the competitiveness of it all textures make sure it's low effects low and post processing low hardware ray tracing of course is going to be off uh, if you already have a potato pc i doubt you'll have this option in case you do make sure it's off your fps on so we can see our fps after these changes latency markers off use gpu crash debugging off nvidia reflex low latency on plus boost so it's going to be the last option all the way to the right and report performance that's disabled now we're going to click on apply or press a on our keyboard and we're going to have to restart the game but before restarting we're going to click on decline and then we're gonna click on this little cogwheel right here to the game settings first thing we see is matchmaking region make sure to choose the region with the least amount of ms so as you guys can see here in europe i have 35 so i chose europe if i played on na east i'd have 121 ping which would be really bad for me now i'm gonna scroll all the way down we'll get to extra game options and replace all the way down as i said make sure nvidia highlights and peripheral lighting is off and then scroll down to replace and make sure all of this is off very important once again then we'll get to energy saving and make sure both both of these are off now we're gonna press escape that should bring us here and what we want to do is reset our game and this is how our game will look like i know it's not the best result but let's go ahead and get into the game uncap the fps and see the result and here we are in the game live right now i'm landing as you guys can see rocking the stretch res another thing people might hate is the blurriness of it all so you can see that the visibility is not very clear however we can fix that The way we fix that is basically going to the settings, again, uh, video, and then what we want to do is make sure our 3D resolution is going to be on 100. So that we're going to apply, and the game, as you guys can see, looks amazing now. So, that's the way to get rid of the blur thingies that i've mentioned anyways guys that was it for this video hope you enjoyed hope you liked it i'm sure if you carefully follow the steps it'll help you out a lot anyways i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out